How many times, just be honest, how many times have you ever come back from work super exhausted, hungry as hell, and you just wanna make something very quick, very delicious, and just go to bed? Well, I love pizza, but can I make it in just 15 minutes? Hell yeah! Heck yeah! <laughs> What's up everyone, Abed Motasemi here. Welcome back to yet another recipe video. So happy to have you all here. Today, everything is about very fast, very delicious, of course affordable pizza that anyone can make at home. I've got three awesome pizza to make today. Classic margarita, classic pepperoni, and mushroom, and I promise you, you are not gonna be buying any shitty frozen pizza anymore. Like always, if you want to be the best person in the entire universe, please subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's go make these very delicious pizzas. I bet you can find pizza places everywhere in the world, close by your place, usually pretty good and affordable. Those big pizza franchise places, Domino's, Pizza Hut, shitty frozen pizza, blah blah blah. But there is something different about making your own pizza at home. Well, you might say, these places are fast and good pizza takes time to make. What if I teach you a very fast, delicious, fresh pizza that anyone can make in just 15 minutes? when you come back home from work super tired and want to make fast pizza for dinner. All right, as you can see, I got all ingredients I need from market and I'm not gonna be making the dough or anything else from scratch today cause nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. First thing first, pizza sauce, one of the most important element in a great pizza. I know there are lots of different options out there to get but I would never get those ready to go pizza sauces cause you know, they taste like like rotten tomato and shit. You could get canned puree, crushed or diced tomato, but what you need and I really recommend is canned whole Italian San Marzano tomato. Grazie. Trying to act like a cool Italian dude, you know. San Marzano tomato is a little acidic which makes it perfect for pizza sauce. Dump a tablespoon of sea salt in a large can of tomato which was 750 grams and crush the tomatoes using your hand if you are freaking gross or using a hand blender. This sauce is probably enough for 5 to 6 medium sized pizzas so if you got leftovers no big deal store it in a separate container in the fridge for spaghetti or something. At this point you can use the sauce just like this or you can cook it for like 2-3 to three minutes which I believe it really elevates the taste of the sauce. Well I decided to cook my sauce so on high heat add a pinch of oregano and garlic powder to make the best even better. After about 2-3 to three minutes you're done! Dump the sauce in a separate container and put it aside and we will come back to it no worries. Now the dough baby, the second super important element in an awesome pizza. I've got this sexy classic pizza dough from Pillsbury, Pil Pillsbury, huh? Pillsbury's best and they are not sponsoring this video which well they could. Open the dough bag gently, ah, the dough was sticking together, I had a hard time opening this shit. I've got a flat baking tray or you can use regular tray but turn it upside down and use it as the pizza peel. The idea is to push the pizza dough onto a very hot surface which can preserve heat very well like cast iron or pizza stone. Use a little semolina flour or cornmeal on the surface of the tray to prevent the dough from sticking to the pizza peel surface. Place the dough on the tray and quickly start loading your toppings cause if you be slow the dough sticks to the peel and will become harder to push the dough on the hot baking surface. For the classic margarita pizza start with pizza sauce and you don't want to overload it with pizza sauce cause your pizza comes out super soggy and gross. Look at that sexy red color, mesmerizing. I use fresh, very fresh mozzarella cheese which could be grated or if you are cheesy like me just tear it apart into big chunks of cheese and place it on top of your pizza. 
cheese and its quality is another extremely important element in a good pizza, so do not use shredded cheese because they have some weird product which prevents it from clumping in the bag, but do not allow the cheese to melt properly in the baking process. So always get fresh cheese and grate it yourself. It's a lot better, trust me. Grazie. Ah, the dough stick to the tray, so I pushed more cornmeal underneath. However, I've got a better strategy for the next pizzas I'll show you. Drizzle some extra virgin olive oil on the pizza and finish it off with grating some fresh Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Oh my god, I know my accent sucks, but you know what? Italian dudes, get out of the room, please. Just kidding, stay. I love y'all. <laughs> it's time to bake, guys. Preheat your oven to the maximum degree. Mine was 500 degrees of Fahrenheit or 260 Celsius. And leave the pizza stone or cast iron in there to heat up very well. Once you are ready to bake, first rub the surface with a wet towel, which prevents the pizza from burning. Then gently push the pizza on the baking surface. Pro tip guys, place the baking surface in the top rack position cause the small gap on the top creates a heat concentration and your pizza gonna broil at the same time which is exactly what we need baby. Bake for about 10 to 12 minutes till the bottom of the crust become lightly golden brown. Oh ho 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 there she is. I'm gonna grate some extra fresh parmigiano reggiano cheese on this girl. Top it off with a few fresh Italian sweet basil leaves and classic margarita pizza is done, baby! She deserves a bite, guys. You know what I'm talking about. So far so good, yes? Then please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and support my channel by sharing my content with your friend and family. Also comment below what you want me to make for you in the next videos. Thank you so much. All right, let's jump into the next pizza. I'm gonna first slice 200 grams of mushrooms thinly using a sharp knife. Here I use two different kinds of mushroom, baby bella and shiitake mushroom. Why? I don't know really, just for fun. You can use whatever you want. Open a new bag of classic dough and remember I said this time I had a better strategy? So here it is, instead of only using semolina or cornmeal on the pizza peel, I used some on the dough itself before placing it on the peel. Well, it worked perfectly and the dough did not stick to the peel, I'll show you. For making classic pepperoni, add a scoop of pizza sauce on the dough, then fresh mozzarella comes next. So beautiful and yummy, isn't it? I grated some fresh provolone cheese on top just to make it more interesting, add extra flavor and increase cheese stretch, but you don't have to. Then I added a few slices of mushroom, which is totally optional and it is not in classic pepperoni recipe, but you know, I love mushroom and it was just a little bit. Just have a little bit. <laughs> Place your sexy pepperoni slices on top as much as you want, but please don't overload the toppings too much. Drizzle some extra virgin olive oil and add a pinch of garlic powder on top. Shake, shake, shake the pizza peel and make sure the pizza is not sticking to the peel. Finally in the oven at the same temperature and baking time. You can see this time it became a lot easier to push the pizza on the baking surface. And the moment of truth, there she is. I sprinkled a pinch of garlic powder and oregano on top and finish it off with grating some fresh parmesan cheese to elevate that freshness. Slice the pizza and have a big bite. Bon appetit! Let's make the final one which is mushroom pizza with a little bit of my twist. In fact, I combined the classic pizza Bianca and mushroom pizza which came out pretty good. Just like the other ones that we just made, start with placing the dough on the pizza peel. Here instead of tomato sauce, I use a couple of tablespoons of ricotta cheese and extra virgin olive oil. Cheese it up with fresh mozzarella and place the thin slices of mushrooms as much as you want on top. Finish it with a few dashes of olive oil and in the oven to bake. Once it's perfectly baked, I grated some fresh parmigiano reggiano added a few teaspoons of ricotta cheese and finish it off with sexy basil pesto sauce to add extra freshness and flavor to this sexy pizza. And do not forget to bite this girl. Mm.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you want to be the best and sexiest person in the world, please subscribe to my channel and support me in this journey. See y'all next time.